Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. We are working on our tip calculator. We've added logic so that we can do custom tips. So I can go back here and change the amount to, let's do 789. Looks like a good number. Calculate tip and it will calculate it. The problem is it's not giving us formatted numbers. And we're also noticing some other issues with the centering. So you might have noticed these depending on how you laid out your interface. I'm gonna show you how to fix that in the following video. But in this video, we're gonna focus on getting this to format correctly for your current currency. So in order to do that, we'll add one more method and we're gonna convert in the opposite direction of the other one. So we had our convert currency to double. We now wanna convert a double to currency. Let's go ahead and add that. You can pause the video as you need to in order to catch up. And we're going to have an amount. It's going to be of type double, and we're going to just convert this to a string. Now, for this one, we don't have to worry about it failing. It's always going to work. We need another number formatter. We need to set this up just like we did for the other one. And once we do that, we can use this to then format the number. And instead of using the method that we used up top, which was the number formatter dot string, we'll use the number formatter dot number, or sorry, number formatter dot, I'm reading the wrong thing. So we use dot number up top, we want to do the dot string down below. And this will allow us to convert a number into a string. And this takes an NS number, we can just pass in our value, but we will have to wrap it up in a NS number object. And I'll show you how to do that. So we just say NS number, and then we have a value option here, but I messed up autocomplete so it didn't show up, but that's what you need to type. And then we just pass in the amount. When we do that, this should give us a string back in the currency that we have. And looks like I might have an issue. It wants to, to do a, a string, an optional string. And for this, I, I wanna force it. Since we know we're starting with a double, we know we can create an NS number. We know we can create an actual value. So I'm going to force unwrap this by putting an exclamation mark at the end. And if we go ahead and run this, you should see that it compiles. We need to now use this new method. So we're going to use this logic up top. Right in here in our calculate all tips, we want to make sure that we can convert to our double to currency. So we're going to copy this or you can type it and you can paste it right here or you can just say convert currency, convert double to currency. We want to turn it into a string. So this is the one we want to call. So if we press enter here, we're going to have a, a bug on the end. So we have to like backspace a couple times. The other option is if you just want to replace this conveniently, just double click to select, do a command C, and then you can paste it right here. And you can see I have a, a bug right there. I should probably just type this out, uh, thinking back to my idea of optimizing it wasn't the best, so let's go ahead and fix this. So we need to give it the parameter name, which is right here, so I'll just type in amount. So if you get everything working, you can sort of catch up, pause the video if it's not working, make sure that you've typed everything correctly. Spelling is really important, as is capitalization, so if you don't spell and capitalize in the same fashion, it won't work, and if you misspell somewhere in your, your app, and not somewhere else, it won't work. So it's a little bit precise in that way. When we go ahead and run this again, we should see our text is now formatted. So if I change this to, let's say $30, and right now my keyboard's not working with the input, and I'll show you how to fix that. We now see formatted text, and so that's really cool. We now have numbers that actually mean something to people. 
instead of numbers for a computer. They're formatted. They're in my local currency. That's super awesome. So if you're having issues with the keyboard, you can just go up to the simulator hardware menu option. And for some reason, I don't think it's connected. So I'm going to click that checkbox and see if this fixes that problem. Normally I can type in here and the simulator is just not working for me with my keyboard. I might need to close the simulator. So I'll just quit it and we'll try running it again and see if that fixes the problem. There we go. I can type again. So something was weird. I could not type. And so, so now what we're going to see is as there's certain issues with the formatting. And it's a little bit subtle, but we can see that this isn't quite centered. And if I go to a, maybe a smaller amount, maybe it becomes more apparent. So let's do $3. We can see there's more space on the right side. So that's not really what we want. We're also noticing that if I'm typing values in here, uh, let's type not a number, so ASDF, and we do calculate, we'll see, okay, that's not going to update the display. That's not a number. We see the error message down here. So go ahead, play with the app, see how it's working, try some numbers, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can clean up the user interface a little bit and fix some of these issues that we're seeing with the UI label alignment as well as the minimum size. One of the other things you can try is a really big number. So if we do, uh, let's go really big and we calculate tip, we see that, okay, I can't see the full tip, which kind of defeats the purpose. And I don't even think the number has to be that big. Uh, it may just be a thousand, we can't see the full tip amount. So that's kind of a problem for the user because now the app doesn't work in all situations. And this is one of those things that you run into once you're working on the app and you're like, okay, I've got it working. And then you test it and it doesn't work for someone. And so this is why bugs are pretty common in apps because there's lots of edge cases that we need to start thinking about when we're designing these apps to make them fully functional. All right, in the next video, we will fix the, the UI label stuff so that we can actually see these values and we can get the spacing correct on this label down here. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you want to download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's going to send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects is going to be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm going to be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm going to be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.